Hello, guys. How are you? How was your weekend? Hi, teacher. Hey, Dora. How was your weekend, Dora? My weekend was very busy mm -hmm. because my, my children begin class this week. Ah, okay. The same mine. Mine begin today. What well, began today. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah. So then, Dora, you had many errands. You have many errands to do. Go to the supermarket, go to the bookstore, go to the library, go to many places. I go different places because I need to uh, buy book, notebook, uh, and different for this, this class. Okay, okay. Good. All right. Thank you, Dora. And anyone else? How was your weekend? No tengan miedo de compartir. Está bien. Si vamos a estar juntos un mes. Ya me, me llega, Santitos, solo, Santo me está haciendo ojitos, pero no me dice nada. Eso, Santos, ya, ya, ya te estoy entendiendo que me quieres decir algo, pero te da miedo. No, hombre, dale, Santos, no solo los ojitos. Go ahead, Santos. <risa> no, eh, bueno, mi eh, weekend. Eh, I don't in the mall, mall center. Yes. Shopping center. Metropoli. Ah, yes. Okay. 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 Yes. Okay. Uh, and the supermarket. Okay. Okay. In case it's in the supermarket, what did you do in the supermarket? Ah, uh, I. Uh, I. Go, go, food. You bought food. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Good. Okay. All right. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, me. <laughs> oh, okay. No, okay. No, no, no problem. No problem. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's okay. No problem. Okay. Good. That's what we're going to do. In this moment, the first that we have to practice is the past tense, right? This is the first, okay. Yeah. Antes de empezar la clase de hoy, lo primero, past tense. Debemos de tener la fluidez para poder decir las oraciones de lo que pasa diariamente, right? Entonces, ¿cuál es el objetivo? El objetivo es decir cinco oraciones en 30 segundos. ¿Qué hicieron el fin de semana? Okay, no palabra, cada 10 segundos, sino que I went shopping, I saw movies, I visited my mother, I bought in the supermarket. Cinco oraciones, ¿en cuánto tiempo? 3 minutos. 30 segundos, no 3 minutes, 30 segundos, no 3 minutes. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. We ready? Okay. Ready. Okay, let's do it. Okay. 30 seconds. Termina 30 segundos, el otro compañero 30. Termina el otro, termina, va el otro. Así. La idea es de que continuar presionando. El compañero no dijo los cinco, está bien, vamos a otro. Ok. 
Okay. All right, let's go. 30 seconds, 30 seconds, five sentences. Oscar? Okay, it's okay. It's okay, teacher. Any questions? Algún verbo que no que no es tan claro cómo se pronuncia, cómo se dice en, en el pasado? Actualicé. Por ejemplo, si updated. si you... Ah, ajá. Tenía dudas con eso. Mm -hmm. Updated. Ok. Pronunciarlo, decirlo. Updated. Updated. Correct. Updated. Good. Ok. Todos los demás están bien. For this moment, yes, teacher. Excellent. All right, then. Let's continue. We're okay T with all the... Yes. I have a question. Yes, yes. Eh, el verbo ordené. Ordered. 
Order. Ordered. Con D fuerte al final. Ordered. Ordered. Lo mismo sería para decir ordené mi habitación. No. Ese es organized. Organized. Uh -huh. Gracias. Welcome, you're welcome. Okay, good. Then let's go ahead and continue. Today we're going to look the topic there is and there are. This is in number three, unit three. We are going to look in conversation. There is and there are. 3.1, I'm your neighbor. Welcome everybody to section eight. What's your neighborhood like? As we always do, we listen to a conversation in order to get ready for our topics, which will include places around town, location, and there is, there are. In this session, you will listen to a conversation between neighbors asking about places in town. Pay attention to there is, there are, one, any, and some. Excuse me, I'm your new neighbor, Jack. I just moved in. Oh, yes. I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some on Pine Street. Oh, good. And is there a laundromat near here? Well, I think there's one across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there's a barber shop in the shopping center, too. A barber shop? Excuse me, I'm your barber shop. Él no preguntó, pero ¿por qué le pregunta barber shop? ¿Qué es, qué es eso, barber shop? Uh, barbería. Barbería. Una barbería, exacto. ¿Y por qué le dice ella eso? There's a barber shop. Anda fea la barba ahí, que lo más ah. peludo también. Because the hair is long. Yes, the hair is long, exactly. Okay. There, good. First, let's look at the vocabulary. Any new vocabulary? By the way, teacher. Por cierto. De paso, pues. By the way. I just moved in. I just, I moved, just in. moved in. I moved just in. moved in. I just moved in. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? It means is new in the house or new in the apartment. Neighbor. Mm -hmm. Okay. Landromat is for wash the clothes. For the clothes, the washing machine, go to the laundry mat. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's listen again for pronunciation. Listen one more time for the pronunciation. Places around town, location, and is there are in this session you will listen to a conversation between neighbors asking about places in town pay attention to there is there are one any and some excuse me i'm your new neighbor jack i just moved in oh yes i'm looking for a grocery store are there any around here yes there are some on pine street oh good and is there a laundromat near here well, I think there's one across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there's a barber shop in the shopping center too. A barber shop? Okay, so now we're going to practice with our partners the conversation. Okay, it's in the WhatsApp or in 3.1. We practice one time the man, one time the woman. Okay, then we switch.
Oscar, are you okay? Vanessa, you okay? Okay. Any questions? No question, teacher. Solo de que no faltó tiempo. <laughs> no, no, no. It's that you have a long time for conversation. <laughs> en la segunda vuelta me quedé a medias, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Así vamos agarrando la fluidez para que saber que eh, tenemos que ir a carrera, no es de todo lo que queramos, okay. Sí, no, Jesse. No problem, we practice more. In this moment, we are going to look at there is and there are. There is is for one, for one thing. There are is for two or more, okay? We're going to watch the video. There is and there are. This is 3.3, .3. there is and there are. Hi everyone, welcome back to another session. This time we'll learn to ask if there is or not a particular place in town. We'll go over prepositions of place which will help us give directions. In this session, participants will learn how to ask and answer questions with there is, there are, one, any, and some. There is, there are, one, any, some. Is there a laundromat near here? Yes, there is. There's one across from the shopping center. No, there isn't, but there's one next to the library. So for is there or there is, is for one, only for one, okay? This is one. Are there or there are is for two or more. Are there any grocery stores around here? Yes, there are. There are some nice stores on Pine Street. No, there aren't, but there are some on 3rd Avenue. No, there aren't any around here. Prepositions. On. Next to. Near. Close to. Across from. Opposite. In front of. In back of. Behind. 
between, on the corner of. If you want to know if there is a place near you, we do it by saying, is there a near here? Of course, the answer will depend on if there is or not. You may answer yes there is, or no there isn't. If your answer is yes there is, you may continue by saying, yes there is, there is one next to the gas station. Prepositions of place. Let's go over the prepositions by looking at the map. The post office is on Main Street. The gas station is next to the public library. The shopping center is close or near the public library. The telephone booth is across from the gas station. The plaza is in front of the post office. The electronic store is behind or at the back of the post office. The plaza is between First National Bank and the grocery store. The gas station is on the corner of First Avenue. Make sure you practice and understand each preposition of place. Street. Uh, para empezar, vamos despacio, ¿verdad? Hay mucho vocabulario que tenemos que saber. The prepositions. Pero empezamos con is there and are there. First, is okay, is there and are there? Yes, it's okay. Yes, it's okay. Okay, good. Es que en español, is there y are there, solo hay una palabra, ¿verdad? Pero en inglés son diferentes. Is there singular, are there plural? Okay. Now here we have many different prepositions. Look at the prepositions. On, next to, near, close to. Look, it's okay the, the vocabulary or not okay? Across from teacher. Across from is in the other street, across from. Los Cebollines is across from Galerías. Eh, hiper, hiper mall, no, no hiper mall. Walmart, Walmart is across from Plaza Mundo. It's okay across from? It's okay, teacher, it's okay. Okay. The other are okay. Okay. Después vemos que de, tenemos one, any, and some. One, the same. One, right? Only the number one. Some is for plural. The sum is plural. Ah, but the any. Si se fijan, any, only in questions, are there any, okay, or in the negative, there aren't any, is not correct, there isn't any, or, well, is not correct, is there, is there any, okay, only is, are there any, and no, there aren't any. It's okay? It's okay, teacher. It's okay, teacher. Okay, all right. So let's practice, okay? Okay, the first that we're going to practice, okay? Antes de empezar en el ejercicio es con uno y el otro. Voy a preguntar, no conozco dónde viven, pero voy a preguntar. Ah, hey, Santos, is there a supermarket near you? Yes, there is. Muy bien. Yes, there is. Es la respuesta corta. Ahora, ¿cómo Santos lo puede hacer más largo? Yes, there is. ¿Qué, ¿Cómo va a continuar a leer? Yes, there is a supermarket there. Near. Near here. Okay. Yes, there is a supermarket. ¿Qué tomas?
Okay, vamos a dar la, dónde está ubicado. Entonces, si va a decir, is there a supermarket near you? Yes. Okay. Yes, there is. Esta es la respuesta corta. Después él puede continuar. Ok. Pensemos cómo vimos. There is one. There is one. Ajá, uh -huh, there is one. No, there aren't. In front of my house. Ok, exactly. There is one. In front of my house. Okay. There is one in, in the plaza. There is one in Unicentro. There is one in Metrocentro. Ah, okay. Y así vamos. It's okay? Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yes. Three questions there. Is there? Three questions is there? Three questions are there. Six questions, six answers. Three questions is there, three questions are there, okay? Aquí ahorita, antes de los grupos, van a tener 120 segundos. 120 segundos para hacer three questions is there, three questions are there. Por si tienen duda, aquí estoy yo ahorita antes de practicar oralmente, okay? Three and three. Is there, are there? Yes. It's correct. Are there any book from to house? No, porque are there siempre va a ir plural. Entonces, are there any books? books. Are there any books okay. in front of your house? Okay, thank you. ¿Qué estás preguntando, Pepe? Que si hay eh, algunas librerías frente al, a, a, a tu casa. No, Library. estás preguntando si hay libros enfrente de tu casa. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. ¿Cómo, okay. ¿cómo, es book, ¿Cómo son librerías? Library. Library. No, okay. esas bibliotecas. Bookstore. Excellent, bookstores. Oh. Good, good, good. Uy, le quedan 90 segundos. ¿Alguien más tiene duda? Three and three. Is there, are there? Teacher, entonces si yo quiero decir, eh, enfrente de mi edificio está el mercado. Entonces sería, I, uh, sería, are there <coughs> fly markers? No, porque no eh, estás preguntando, estás diciendo. Entonces, está preguntando es, There is. Entonces, there, pero sería, there is, vea, si sería el supermarket o yes. el fly market. No, ¿qué es fly market? Eh, un mercado ambulatorio. Ah, o no, mercado. no, no. Ese mercado solo es market. Uh -huh. Solo es market. Oh, Ajá. Y el oh. otro es supermarket, like super selectos. Uh -huh. Uh, ok, thanks teacher You're welcome ¿Alguien más? 60 seconds, ya casi Hi teacher okay. uh, My question uh, There is the hospital Is near your house uh, Is question No there is Is, is there Is, is there, there, a, is there okay. a hospital Is there a hospital Near your uh, house Ok, anyone else? Ok. Ok. No, ya listos. Is there, are there? Excellent. Ok. Sin presión. Ok, perfect. So, now we practice with our partners. The three and the three. Three questions. Is there? Three questions. Are there?
Vanessa, any questions? Vanessa, any questions? Hi, teacher. Hello, Vane. Hello, tengo problemas de conexión. Ah, ok. Y por eso es que por ratito se me corta. Ok, ok. No te preocupes, a veces así pasa. Sí, me saca de la sala. Ok. Si querés, puedo intentar a mandarte otra vez. Eh, ¿A un grupo? Sí. Sí, sí. Ok. Okay, let's begin. Rosa, give me the question with are there. Hello, teacher, no escuché su indicación, disculpe. No, no, era para Rosa. Rosa Esmeralda, one question. Ah, okay. Are there? Is there? Mm -hmm. um, are there, Rosa? Are there? Um, is there? Um, Rosa con are there. Are there. Um, mm -hmm. 
Okay. Jaime, try questions with are there. Sorry, teacher. We write uh, two sentences. We use uh, it's there. Okay. And try with are there. Make the question are there. Are there. Mm. Okay. Are there any shoe store near your house? Correct. Very good, Jaime. Yeah. Yeah, yeah there are a shoe store in from my, in from my house. Okay, correct. Very good. Yes, there are. Okay. Or okay. yes, there is. Next. Good. Um, Siempre con arderos, teacher. Are there? Yes, yes, yes. Go ahead, Jaime. Are there? Um, are there uh, any gym near the park? Ah, okay. En este caso va a decir, is there? Okay. Is there? Mm -hmm. Is there? La diferencia es que are there siempre va a tener un plural. Por ejemplo, si estuviera correcto, are there any gyms? Gyms. Gyms near your house. Yeah. Pero yeah. si solo es uno, is there a gym near your house? Yes. Okay. Okay. All right. Lo, lo, lo haré en plural. Ex okay. Are there uh, any gyms near the park? Correct. No, there aren't. But uh, there are one gym next to the supermarket. Más o menos. <laughs> Acuérdate que no there are porque es one gym. Para one usamos. Dicen. There is. is. There is. is one gym near the supermarket. Mm. Siempre que es one, one va a decir there is. Cuando es two, dos o más, there are. There are. Okay. Yes. Erasmo, one, one question gym. with okay. are there. Um, yo tengo is, is there, um, it did a supermarket. Um, but Erasmo, with are there? Sí. Are there? Are there. Mm -hmm. are there. Les pregunto, uh, are there? Porque are there es más difícil. Y la mayoría, yeah. la mayoría puede manejar is there. Por eso le estoy preguntando, are there? Okay. Listo. Okay. Are there children on the park? Correct. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, are these beer? Uh, um, on the park pose también. Are there qué? Beer, beer de pájaro. Ah, ok. Are there birds? Birds. On Bird. eh? the park. Vale. Practiquemos la pronunciación, Erasmo. Ok. Birds. Beer. 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 Tenés que llevar la S porque si no es barba. Birds. Ah. Birds. Ah. Birds. Beer. Okay, beer. mejor. Poco a poco. Listo. Excellent, Erasmo. Okay. Let's okay. see. Ciro. Yes. Ciro. The question with are there. Yes. Are there any restaurant in Boulevard del Ejército? Correct. Are there any taxis near here? Correct. Good. Are, are there a few shopping centers near here? Correct. Good job, Ciro. Katia, are there? Okay. Are there the park? Are there park across from your house? Okay. Un parque o dos parques? Um, two parks. Ok, entonces, acuérdate la S. Are there parks? Are there parks? Are there parks? Con S, parks. Parks. Mm -hmm. No, solo está diciendo la K. Tiene que decir la S, parks. Parks? No, igual no decir la S. Parks. Como culebras. Parks? 
y la S como la culebra? Decís solo la S como la culebra. Dale, Katia, sin miedo. Solo decí. No, 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 no digas pa. Solo la S. Solo la S, Katia. ¿Así? No, no, no escuché nada, dale. Solo la S. A ver. Katia. No lo escucho, no se escucha. Ahora sí, dale, S. Decila. Sí te escucho, pero no lo estás diciendo. S. No, Katia, no digas la palabra porque se está pronunciando mal. Solo la final. Sí. No, no, no. Sol, no digas la palabra. Solo repetir. ¿Así? Poné la lengua en medio de los dientes. Detrás, así. Dale. ¿Así? Así no, no, no decís nada, no, no estás diciendo nada. Lo único que se te escucha es cuando decís así. Así. Ah, así. Solo decir la palabra. Dale. Ahora me escucha bien. Ahora te escucho bien. Ah, hoy sí, hoy sí, al fin. Ahora vamos. Parks. Parks. Ya ves cómo terminas. Exacto. Tienes que exagerarle ese sonido para que cuando lo digas naturalmente, parks, ya sabes si lo estás diciendo correctamente. Ahora decir parks. Parks. Va, excelente, excelente, Katia. Uh, es que right. los audífonos no, no ayudaban mucho. Ah, eso es. Echarle la culpa a la tecnología. Me llega, me llega. All right, Katia. Ok, good. Ok, muy bien. Va, entonces, creo que entendimos de, por todos los ejemplos lo que tenemos que hacer. Lo más importante, el tip del día si lleva S, vamos a usar are there, porque es plural. Si no lleva S, vamos a ayudar is there, porque es singular. ¿Verdad? Ese es el tip. Is there sin S. Are there con S. ¿Es ok? Ok. Excelente. Ok. Ahora vamos a prepositions. Prepositions. Antes de continuar, ¿hay alguien que tiene duda? ¿Hay alguien que no le quedó claro la gramática de is there y are there? No tengan pena, pueden decirlo. Eh, no me quedó claro cómo hacer la pregunta, no me quedó claro cómo hacer la, la oración. ¿no? Ok, yo confío en que no preguntan porque les quedó claro. All right, let's continue. Now we're going to practice prepositions. Ah, ¿y cuáles eran los prepositions? Todos los que acabamos de ver en el video anterior. In front of, next to, near, behind, on. Todos esos son los que vamos a practicar ahorita. ¿Cómo lo vamos a practicar? Vamos a ver el mapa. Igual el mapa está en WhatsApp. Y con el compañero, ahí está. Is there a... Ah, yo voy a buscar aquí cuál de la opción es correcta y aquí cómo voy a saber si es un gran mapa. Ah, tengo que leer bien. It is on the corner of Elm Street and Maple Street. Entonces me voy a acercar, voy a decir, ah, ok, aquí está Maple Street y dice Elm Street. Ah, ¿dónde está Elm Street? Ah, aquí puedo ver que es Elm Street. Vaya. Pero es on the corner. Tengo dos opciones. Entonces, ¿cuál sería? It's on the corner of Elm Street and Maple Street. Is it the library? 
the hotel or the park? Which is the correct? Hotel. 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 Excellent. Okay. Sí. Ahí así de fácil, solo les toca hacer los nueve más. Yes. Very easy. Very easy. Imagínense cuánto se tarda una segunda. Segundos, segundos para hacer una. No problem, no problem. Okay. You ready? Yes. Yes. Okay. Let's go with our partners. Nadia, any questions?
Okay, let's check together. Number one, is there a hotel near here? What about number two? What is number two? Bank. Bank. Gym or laundry? Bank. 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 Okay, good. Number three, is there a? Department store. Department Depart store. Depart Depart store. Excellent, okay, number four. Is there? Gas station. Gas station. Gas station. Okay. Number five. Grocery store. Good. Grocery stores. Okay. Number six. Gym. 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 Okay. Number seven. Electronic store. Electronic store. Electronic store, okay. We check. Number eight, is there a? Pay phone. phone. Pay phone. Pay phone, good. Pay phone. Number nine, is there a? Library. 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 And number 10? Restaurants. Are there any restaurants? Hey, excellent, excellent. Nos ganamos 100 dólares, teacher. Excellent, <laughs> correct. Uh-huh, okay. Everybody repeat, hotel. 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 Bank. 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 No, alguien dijo ba, no es bank, es bank. 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 Correct, correct. Bank. Department store. Department, Department store. store. Okay. Muy bien. Tengo cuidado con las palabras con S. Muchas veces, como nosotros estamos acostumbrados a hablar en español, nos sale E store, E station, pero no hay una E. Es Department <coughs> store. Department store. Department store. Siempre pueden estar seguros que lo pronuncian bien porque empiezan con la letra como la de la culebra. Store. 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 Number four. Gas station. Gas station. Ahí va otra vez. Ya lo escuché. Station. No hay una E. Gas station. Gas station. Exactly. Good. Gas station. Okay. Good. Grocery stores. Grocery stores. Grocery stores. Muy bien. Siempre al final exageren ese sonido, la S. Good. Gym. 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 Okay. Good. Gym. Electronic store. Electronic store. Electronic store. Good. Payphone. Payphone. Public library. Public, Public library. library. Restaurants. 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 Mm -hmm. Yes, <laughs> good. Eso, eso. Okay, restaurants. Okay. Muy bien. Excelente, excelente idea. Solo acuérdense que si lo están escupiendo, no lo están pronunciando bien. Porque la culebra no escupe, solo sale aire, solo es aire. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ok. Any vocabulary? ¿Alguna palabra que no entendían o no saben cuál es? Sí, teacher, siempre es a grocery store. Grocery. Super selectos. Despensa familiar. Despensa ah, ok. Tienda de comida. Uh, no, no de comida. Paypal. Supermercado. 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 ¿no? Payphone, ya no existen, pero antes para Superman, the payphone. Here. Ah, ok. The Superman change in the payphone. O sea, cabina telefónica, ¿verdad? Correct, correct. Ya ni sé si existen en alguna parte del mundo. Uh -huh. 
En algunos pueblos sí todavía existen unos cuantos públicos que así de los de Antel, ¿verdad? de esos celestes. Wow, ok. En Pronos de Redondel más Ferrer. Ah. Y es eh, next to a de Burger King. Oh. There is a one payphone. Really? But I creo que no sirve, pero ahí está. Ah, ok. Cerca sí. del semáforo, ¿verdad? No, porque Masferen no tiene, no tiene semáforo. Pero ok. No, it's in front, in front of, next to the Burger King. Uh, next the, to Burger King. Por, yes. por galerías, por galería. Pero... No. no. Eh, up, 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 to Masferer. Ah, ok. Masferer, ah, pues no. Sí, mm -hmm. excuse me. No, 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 it's ok, good. Next. Ah. Voy a ir a ver, me gustaría tomar una foto de aquello de la antigua. Ah, todavía conocí. Ajá, de Telephone book. Ajá, para mi hijo que se acuerden. Se nos fue a la juventud, teacher. Ajá, exactly, exactly. Good, very good. Ok. ¿Alguna pregunta, alguna duda de hoy? That there is, there are, the prepositions. No. Ok, entonces me gustaría, antes de que nos vayamos, solo yes. para estar seguro. Yes, sí. I have a question. Yes, the please. proposition is uh, after now. Yes, correct. The proposition okay. is after now. Ok, thank so you. The bookstore is next to. The bank is across from. The, uh -huh, after the noun. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Any other questions? No? Okay. Bye. Solo para estar seguro, todos están bien con la unidad 1 y 2? ¿Están al día? Yes, yes teacher. Yes. Yo estoy yes. por la 3 ya. Yes. Excelente, excelente. Yes. Yes. Bye. Solo que con la duda del compañero si se pudo meter a la plataforma, como que no le resolvieron algo, escuché. Ay, Ahí pero no el... sé. Yo, yo pero mandé yo... uno, me dijeron que iban a contactarse con, con quién era. Sí, no, porque yo... fíjese que eh, yo tenía problemas con, con un ejercicio de la plataforma de, de la 2. Y yo escribí y, y Paula, Paola. Ajá. Con mucho gusto me, re, me resolvió la del 2.6, el ejercicio 2.6. Ajá, ella me ayudó. Entonces, yo siempre que he tenido problemas, me responden rápido. No sé por qué a él no, ¿verdad? Qué penoso, pero... ¿qué a mí, teacher. Por... Pero uh -huh. hasta, hasta ahora me lo desbloquearon. Yo, ah, les... ok, Jaime. Sí, qué bueno. Les insistí uh -huh. desde hace dos semanas, bueno... Desde la semana anterior, una semana atrás, no puede ingresar, no puede ingresar. Hasta ahora que insistí que lo mandé el WhatsApp al grupo. Sí, Tal vez no, así y, me escuchaban, dije yo. No, y así tiene que ser. Usted a, al grupo mándelo, porque a veces así, ya cuando ven que son un montón, ay, uy, van a, ya, ya ven que es un montón de gente que, que está viendo los mensajes, y van a quedar mal y les da pena. Sí, a mí que les dé pena. Sí, para eso es el trabajo de ellos, ay, que les dé pena. Pues sí. Ay, pues sí, sí, va a creer. Es como que de repente yo estoy en clase. Hey, teacher, despiértese, despiértese. Ay, ay, qué pena. No, es que me dé pena, pues sí. Pues sí, a eso venimos. Pero, a dice, ahí estoy en deuda con las tareas, teacher, porque como hoy me ha desbloqueado, pero voy okay. a entrarle con todo. Ok, perfecto. Sí. Ahí le ayudamos, perfecto. Jaimito, no se preocupe, es a la thank, orden. Thank you. Gracias. Uh -huh. sí. okay, Muy amable. Have a good night, and I see good you night. tomorrow then. Good. Bye. See you. I see you. Bye. 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 See you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Bye.